Awesome. No. Why do you have to surprise you? Why can't you give me some sort of like heads up? Like, hey, we're going to start filming. Nope, we're doing it now. So what are we doing here? What do you think are the best parts on the market right now? All right, let's head to the website. TheVaultProScooters.com. All right. So when it comes to bars, obviously I'm gonna recommend the TV Titanium T-Bar. I mean, I feel like everybody in this video is going to because it's not only good for street, it's also good for park and it's cost efficient and it's titanium. If I didn't have to pick a tie bar, I would say um, an affinity bar would probably be the next best option in my opinion if I had to buy something. As an aluminum option, I'd probably go with a Reaper bar. Affinity bars are really good. They, I never have any issues with them and Urban Art Tea Bars. Those are my two bars right now that I like. And the Ethic Vegas Bars. There's a St. Patty's down the street. It's a pretty good bar. I hang out there a lot these days. Scooters? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard scooters in years. You know, I actually used to work for a shop. The Vault Pro Scooters. We were the number one shop. It was a great time. Favorite bars? <sighs> TV Tie, hands down. If you don't like titanium, Affinity Tea Bars. Tea Bars. The best bars, they look so good. XL Affinity T-Bars, and the reason I think they're one of the hottest parts is because they got the thicker diameter for the crossbar, a lot stronger, American-made product, uh, rider-owned, which is always awesome. Either the Retrolite V3s or the Baby Slayers, I just think Proto Bars are really good. They're American-made, they don't bend. I've seen a lot of bars bend. I bend a lot of bars just because they're so tall. My bars bend out of the clamp. I've never bent proto bars, so that's good. The Tilt Sentries, those are good. I've had mine for like four years and they still haven't like bent or snapped or anything. I kind of like Affinity Bars. Those things, they, they seem to be flying through our warehouse, you know, coming in and out. You know, a bunch of people are getting them. T-Bars, they're steel, come in both standard, oversized, they're really good. You know, they're nice and tall, nice wide, cut down to whatever you want. If you haven't switched over, it's kind of about time. It's just about whether you're ready to drop the cash or not, but the Vault Titanium Bars are like, come on, like they're the best. Uh, especially with the price being that they're one of the cheapest tie bars. Best bars though. And you're um, not just saying that because you work here, you're like. No, nah, like. You're like legitimately saying. Yeah, I mean, I haven't ridden too many tie bars, but I mean, at the end of the day, I've rode tie bars for almost like two years now and haven't cracked them, bent them, anything like that. I've only ridden Ethic grips for the last like two years until the native emblem grips came and those are definitely my favorite grips. They are a little pricey, but I think for my preference in grips, I like thicker, comfier grips, and the Native Emblem grips definitely do that. I think the Ethic foam grips are the best grips on the market for park and street because they're just so soft, and I love them. It's all I ride, it's all I use, and they're pretty cost efficient, so if you want to cop a pair, you can. I'll say the Native Emblem grips, and okay. mainly just because of the feel. It's just, they're just so perfect. It feels so good. I would have to go with just some basic Odyssey Brock Rayford grips, of course. They're soft, very nice, come in a bunch of colors. Everyone's gonna like them. The Native Emblem grips, they come soft and they last a long time. I've had mine like before Christmas. Um, yeah, and they haven't ripped, which is a good thing. Most grips, like if they're kind of thick, they start to get a little weird. Personally, I like the Fusions, the Fusion Hex grips. Uh, any color, doesn't really matter, you know. Um, but they're borderline thick, borderline thin, and they're right in the middle, pretty comfortable. My hands get a little sweaty when I ride, um, but with these grips, they don't slip at all. I was riding previous grips and they were, just kept slipping. These ones are perfect. I'm riding the Tilt Metra, and uh, they're very good, squishy, not too, not too hard, not too soft, not too thick. But my boy Dalton has some broken in Fusion Hex. I think that's my next grip. Hands down best grips gotta be the Odyssey grips, the Brock Rayfords. In my opinion, I like a thin grip and I just feel like I can hold the bar a little bit better, do like flippy tricks around, and those are the best grips in my opinion. You can never, ever, ever go wrong with a Tilt SES. If I had to pick one of the Tilt SESs, I'm so bummed. The Arc SES is my like favorite SES ever, and they're not making it anymore. For one that's on the market now, um, I'll go with the Rigid SES. Um, I'm riding it myself too, but the thing that I really like about the Rigid SES is it's made for people riding titanium bars in SCS. If the ARC SCS was still here, I'd go with the ARC SCS, but I'm gonna say the Bridget SCS is my go-to SCS clamp. Honestly, I baby proto SCS all day, every day. They just made a new one, it has the six, what is it, six mil bolts, I think sick. Cop that one. I'm still using the one that says patent pending on the bottom, you know what that means? Proto, proto SCS, any of them. Sentinel, um, they're bringing back the old style that'll fit oversized again. Proto, baby.
They started it. Got it. We can never keep in stock the Tilt Rigid SCS. Those, they pretty much instantly, within a week, they're gone. I'm gonna have to go with the trusty Tilt SCS. Best SCS on the planet. Doesn't really need any explanation, it's the best. Which, which one? Uh, I like the classic LT, just the normal one. When it comes to a double clamp, I think the all time, you know, best double clamp is gonna be the Envy Forge two bolt clamp. Honestly, any Envy two bolt clamp, um, I think they just kind of nailed making a sleek and good looking clamp while also making it affordable and reliable. So I know this video is not about price, but that clamp is really easy to work with, especially because it comes in so many different colors. I've always ridden proto clamps. You know, proto clamps are solid, either the big one, small one. Um, doesn't really matter, they're, they're solid clamps. I gotta go with tilt. I mean, Honestly, I could go with a full tilt build. Um, I'm not going to, or I'll, at least I'll try not to, but tilt clamps are probably one of the best clamps on the market right now. There's only been three models, I think, four now uh, with the rigid, but it's pretty much been the same for the last 10 years. And I mean, there's a reason for that. I'm, it's just good. Decks, um, I'm gonna do a park deck and a street deck. For the street deck, I'm gonna go with tilt tenure deck. Currently riding it, I really love it. For the park deck, I'm, okay, I mean, if it's not about budget, I'm gonna say the, the hydro deck. I mean, the hydro deck's pretty sweet. It's the lightest deck on the market. It's got a big hole in the middle of it, but I think when it comes down to what you want out of a park deck, I mean, lightweight, reliability, go with the frickin' hydro deck. Ethic Linworm V3 box, baby, the all the way. I just got a new one in the mill, actually. I'm gonna pick a deck that I've actually never owned. I'm gonna say tilt, the head tube space, the lightness, uh, the cost is a little bit on the upper end, but they seem to last pretty long. The dropouts, really good design. If you don't like an integrated fender, I've seen people chop it off, but it's got everything you need. Aztec Lucid Deck. Those have been very, very popular, very affordable too for what you get. Uh, only two colors, that's the only downside I think to it, but you have multiple sizes, which is also pretty sick because most brands, they'll do like maybe two or three sizes. It's mainly the same width, but a couple lengths, pretty much. But uh, yeah, very lightweight deck, very solid, very popular seller as well. I personally, I really like that Tilt 6 wide deck, 6x23, has a built-in fender. At first, I didn't think I was gonna like it. And then I was, uh, you know, after riding it, I just kind of got used to it. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty solid, lightweight. It's, you know, not too heavy like most six wides would, you know, you would think a six wide would be. My favorite deck right now is the Native Advent V2. I haven't got my hands on a V2 yet just cause I haven't bought myself scooter parts in well over a year, you know, got bills to pay. But uh, that deck is really good. I love it, flat bottom, comes six wide, has deck inserts in the back. So five O's feel great. And especially backwards grinds, when you're grinding backwards, you have no dropout catching, super smooth. Perfect. And for a park deck, I would have to go with the Ethic Vulcan deck. That thing, I've seen a lot of little kids shredding that, and Ethic is hooking up a lot of park riders now, like a lot of like younger park riders, so they have my full support. I back it. I would say the new Wise deck. I can't recall the name right now, but I know it's 5.7 wide, um, and it's priced at a pretty reasonable price for like what you're getting. If you're looking for a little something a little more park-wise, you know, you can always go with like a Prodigy, or you know, if you just want to get the deck, you can get that deck. Um, they come with deck inserts if you want to, you know, get the square deck or if you don't want that, it goes both ways. They're pretty hybrid decks. Hands down, best deck, the Envy AOS V5. I mean, I'll also take the AOS V4 if you want a shorter deck, but the AOS V5 is the best, huh, Walter? If you look at their team, they're pretty stacked. Uh, so there's a reason for that. They're just good all around and Envy AOS V5 decks, I would try them out if you haven't. All right, best fork out of SCS and HIC, I'm gonna say is probably the native Versa fork. I mean, it's expensive, but that fork is compatible with every wheel size. So you can ride anything from 24 mil to 30 mil to Radix to 12 standard. It's definitely one of the best forks. It's not the best fork out there. Just simply because it's compatible with every wheel and it's a great looking fork and it's strong and it's made by native. I mean, when it comes to IHC forks for all my park boys out here, I'm gonna say the NV SOB V3. Well, I ride 12 standard, so I guess, actually, the, uh, what is it? I read the Ethic 12 standard fork. I love the fork. I had it for about a year, and then I, 
I broke it jumping off something really high. But what is it? What is it? What is it? Native. I think it's like the Versa one. Give me like a second. Yeah, Native Versa is the one. The one that runs like everything. Yeah. That's honestly the best fork. I've never ridden it, but like you can run literally everything. You want to run 110s, you want to ride 100s, 125s, 30 wide, 24 wide, 26, anything you can with that. Even 12 standard, literally everything. Tilt rigid fork, have to. It's kind of like a mix between a Nimbus and a Tomahawk, but if it's 30 wide, so can never go wrong there. I'm gonna have to stick with the native Versa, the most versatile fork. It'll fit everything, whatever wheel you want to ride the Versa fork. For my personal preference for fork, I'm gonna go with the Tilt Rigid fork because I ride 30 wides, but you could also ride 24 mil, which is perfect. In terms of the fork, I would say any one of the tilts, but more specifically the Tomahawk, just cause it's slim and I like the way it looks. The best one on the market would probably, you know, in my opinion, be that Tilt Rigid fork. It's pretty solid. Um, I haven't ridden it yet, but you know, I've heard a lot about it. Uh, Austin, you know, being number one, you know, he's always supporting Tilt and stuff. Hmm. Honestly, Tilt, Tilt Legacy, Tilt Nimbus, uh, Tomahawk, any of those forks, they'll do. Uh, I've never seen anyone break one except for one time. I've been riding for seven years, I've never seen anyone break one. So, I mean, shoot, must be good. Wheels. This is gonna be a good one. So, personally, I only really ride proto wheels, river wheels, and like tilt wheels. It's been a while since I've ridden anything else. If I had to pick one out of those three, I'm gonna go ahead and say proto. Simply because I used to buy proto wheels from Freestyle Depot like 10 years ago. And getting a fresh pair of protos in the mail was like life changing. Honestly, black pro wheels. I've never owned them, but I rid them on my friend's scooter and those are like the best wheels. Going back again, proto. But I'm gonna say specifically the plasmas, that clear urethane. Most popular on the market, root air wheels, uh, honey core, the regular. Those are the most popular. I mean, they fly off the shelves. They're pretty light. They look pretty good. Basic looking wheel, pretty strong as well. And they're pretty affordable too, on top of it. My favorite wheels right now are the Meta Wheel Cashin wheels, which also come in 30 wide and 24. So you could ride the small ones or the big ones with that fork combination as well. So that's good. I like the big ones just because you get more surface area on the ground when you're carving and you can go faster. I would say the new Till Stage 3 110 spokes only because, uh, I don't know, they're just like a nice simple wheel and Tilt's always been a good company, so. For wheels, wheels, man. Um, Protos and tilt wheels, those ought to be my top choices. Protos, uh, they're, you know, they're perfect. They ride smooth. Then you have sliders, you have a gripper. So, you know, you can go either way with that one. I gotta do it to them. No one knows this. Lucky wheels are probably one of the best wheels on the market. Like hands down being 100% serious. Like lucky wheels, I've never had a problem with them. I've never seen any like chunk or D hub. They all last like super, super long. And I've probably ridden, hey, at least for me, they do. Um, yeah, I've ridden at least four or five pairs of Lucky Wheels, and I wish they would come out with some like different colors or like different designs. But the quality of the wheel is honestly one of my favorites. That's what we're all rocking with. I wanna know what you guys like. Um, so if someone listed a part you don't think it should be up there, like if you don't like my Lucky Wheel decision, let me know, just throw it in the comments. Um, also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It's all important, helps grow the channel and helps grow the sport of scootering. So let's see it be done. Also, hit that notification bell. If you wanna see more of our videos, uh, keep updated with what we post. Uh, just make sure you tap that button, it takes two seconds and you'll be pretty much updated with all of our stuff. All right, so that wraps this video up and we'll see you guys next time.